What's good people, it's Ethan here today and today I'm going to do slightly different. I'm going to do a quicker video, shorter video, where we go through how I spent £40,000 on this roof lab here. So yesterday I put something on my Instagram, tried to see what guesses I got in terms of how much people think I, I paid for everything. I got like 30k, 25k, but the actual cost is 42k, just over 40, yeah, around 42k. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take you guys inside and go through all the costings and hopefully you lot can get like a, a good estimate of what you can do with 40,000 pounds in London. So this is a one to two bed conversion. It's 55 square meters and we're, yeah, we're based in London. So hopefully you lot can see what you can do with this, get a good like estimate of what types of things you can pay for. So I'm gonna go through the cost of like the architect, um, right through to all the materials and labor. So let's go. So as we come inside, I'm going to talk to you guys about like the initial cost when I first came and viewed it and sort of things that, and I'll go through actually things that I was looking out for. So these are things that you can look out for as well when you're going out to viewings. So to start off, before I actually completed this property, actually during the viewing stages, I brought in my architect because I was quite confident um, that I was going to, you know, be able to secure this property. And in order to make sure that the, this actual like model and everything was going to work, so I had to bring in my architect to come in and that costs 900 pounds so hopefully we can keep some sort of i don't know some sort of edit where it, like it adds it all together as we're going on all. but first cost for you guys was 900 pounds and that was for the architect so that was for the initial proposed plans and plans that are submitted to building control so building control is essentially you know a regulating body that you have to submit your plans in through to where they you know come and check things and sign things off to make sure everything's done like you know to regulation and all safe but yeah so 900 pound first cost on for the architects now let's move inside so uh first second cost that i incurred during this whole refurb stage i would talk about the rip out so the rip out stage was actually came in way more than what i expected out to be i thought you know in and out it's not that hard however i the mistake i actually made is I got more skilled laborers to do it rather than just, you know, a laborer that you can get on a day rate. So I ended up paying 1900. So that's the next cost. So that was 1900 for my um, a rip out. So that took around like a five days. Yeah, it took five days in total, I guess. But it was around during like the Christmas period to New Year's period. So it went a bit over uh, because obviously people spend the time with their families. But that was £1,900 that I spent on that. But that included the skip hire as well. So I believe it was 1600 for the, the labour and it was £300 for the skip as well. So yeah, that was the second cost. The cost number three that I incurred while I was looking out on this project is this is one thing that you guys need to look out for. So you want to be looking out for like high ticket items when you're out on viewing. So things that are going to cost you the most. So once you're in there, you want to see the electrics. Because electrics, trust me, that, that thing there, yeah, expensive. So you want to be looking at, you know, what the fuse board is like. So unfortunately for me, well, yeah, unfortunately for me, it was, it needed a whole new rewire in this property. It's an old, it's a very old, like, Victorian flat. So it needed a new rewire. So that came in at £5,500. Yeah, £5,500. But I got a new fuse board here. Let me just show you guys. Fresh. I got a fresh fuse board here, though, which is good. Um, yeah, so that actually cost £5,500. But that is, to be honest, some people, like as I'll as I say as I'm going through, some things I paid more for, some people, things I paid less for. But the things that I paid more for was literally because of, you know, the, the lack of time. Because I always wanted to have someone constantly in the property. I would sometimes like, overpay for things by like a couple hundred pounds. But that's because I was looking at it on like a holistic view where, you know, I'm on this on a bridge term and the bridge is gonna cost me X amount of month, X amount of money a month. And if I can spend that extra, I don't know, 100, 200 pounds to get the work started now so that we don't have to go into the next month at the end, then yeah, I was gonna pay that. I was literally gonna pay that. So it was 5,500 pounds to rewire this. So that's a two bedroom, two bedroom flat. So yeah. Yes, so that was number three, yeah? Number three, okay, cool. Now on to number four. Um, number four was the plumbing and the heating. 
So well, when after electrics, best thing to do next is to do your first fixing of your plumbing and your heating. So that's just basically getting ready, getting all the piping ready in the system, getting the central heating system done. And that cost me £3,000 to do that. Um, that included, yeah, as I'm saying, taking the run from the pipes from the bathroom right, right through into the kitchen in the front room. That's your hot and cold pipes, pipes and all your central heating across, in, across the property. We've got one, I think we've got like six. We've got like six pipes in this and that cost me £3,000. Um, talking on that as well, and let's just include the boiler in there whilst we're like plumbing and heating. The boiler cost me £1,100. So that was the installation and the boiler included. So yeah, on to number five. Number five. Actually, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll mm. do a quick, a quick pan, a quick yeah, pan yeah. of the hallway. Do quick, quick, yeah. Show them the hallway, show them the hallway. <laughs> we don't want to show you guys too much here yeah, because obviously we've got the final reveal soon. So bring it back, bring it back, not too much, not too much for the final, yeah? Because uh, we've got the final review coming, so I'm going to do a video on that later. This is just something kind of, this is short and value packed. So, on to number five, which was the walls. All the walls, all the walls. So, what we had to do to the walls is, when I came in here, opened the door, this is something you need to check out for, it's damp. It was damp, but like, as soon as we walked in, it stunk. It was like, wow, this is really bad damp. So we needed a full damp course across the whole property. So literally stretching from that room, all the way to the front room, to all the bedrooms, literally. And that, the full damp course, plus all the plastering in this property, full, um, floor to ceiling, cost a total of 9,000 pounds, yes. That was bro, that was the biggest that was yeah that was the biggest you know killer in this project was that was the nine thousand pounds. So if you don't have damp and you don't have to plaster all your walls, you already know you're not spending nine thousand pounds. Um but we have really tall ceilings in this um this building, like the ceilings are really built, uh, really tall. So hence why it costs so much to do. But yeah, it was worth it, definitely worth it, and you get like a 10-year guarantee on um, the damp course as well, which is really good. So yeah, that was my next killer. That was the hard hitter, the 9,000 pounds for that. But yeah, shout out to my guys at Damp Domestics that they sorted me out, really quick turnover. Real grinders, real hustlers in my team. Okay, that was number five. Moving on to number six. On to the bathroom. I'll show you guys a bit of the bathroom because I love the bathroom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. On to the bathroom. This, Bathroom over here, give them a quick tip, like a quick pan, a quick pan, a quick pan. Oh, I'm going to win. <laughs> so, a quick pan, a quick pan of the bathroom. Um, this was a total. Oh, let me sit here. Do I look cool? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this bathroom cost me a total of, let's say it was. Three thousand uh, pounds for the second fixing, so that was all the tiling, fixing of all the um, toilet, bath, shower. That was three thousand pounds, and actually the material in this bathroom only cost me a thousand two hundred pounds, which is I think like I think I got a bargain. But thanks to B and Q, where I went in there, I, there was twenty. They were doing twenty percent off bathrooms and then ten percent off. A trade discount as well so i got like a total of 30 percent off from there they were great so i got the bath from um b and q toilet seat from b and q uh vanity sink from b and q and actually i think I got shower enclosure from b and q literally but shower this shower was actually from tool station and this mirror look at my mirror Jeez. Jeez. okay yeah my mirror i got that from screw fix or tool station funny enough they got they caught me on the ads the ads caught me the cookies they're following me they saw me and then i saw it by the side i think it was on my laptop or something and it was only like 69 pounds or 79 pounds one or two but yeah it's really cheap got all the rides and everything so yeah that is total let's say total four thousand two hundred pounds but the towels were from a towel warehouse place called towel diy so these warehouse stores are really good because you know, if you be, ch be cheeky after discount, they, there's always discount available because I, I even went in there and asked, I was like, is there any discount sort of thing? 
They're like, yeah, if you sign up with us. And I was like, well, you're not going to tell me to sign up. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got another extra discount on that. So for all these tiles, I think I could, I think it cost me like two to three hundred pounds. But the total material cost in this bathroom was only one thousand two hundred pounds, which is a good deal. And labor cost of three thousand pounds. So I think, what are we on? What number are we on? Six, seven. I think it's seven. Seven, I think. I think it's seven. There's 12 in total, by the way. So there's 12 in total. It's not a surprise or what, but it's 12 in <laughs> total, yeah. Seven. After my bathroom, I'm moving on. We just go for kitchen. Let's just move on to the kitchen. Luckily, they won't actually be able to see the kitchen yet because the windows are in. Okay. Should we talk about the windows whilst we're here? Might as well. Because yeah. I said the windows. Might yeah, as well. Actually, no, 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 let's go through the thing. I need to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> to see it. Right, cool. Even I'm waiting, man. Yeah. So, as you can see, the windows are going in now. So, I'll talk about the windows because obviously the windows is what you not can see. And the windows actually cost me £4,300. Which I think is a good deal. Uh, to be fair, if I'm being honest, I didn't shop around as much as I thought, as much as I, I think I should have. However, um, it was like a local type of shop and I wanted to build a relationship with them, uh, just speaking to them and, you know, got a good discount again by just asking. Um, I felt like, you know, it was good to build a relationship with these people, use them again moving forward, just so that quicker turnovers and, you know, quick in, so like your installation dates are more priority and stuff like that. So it was £4,300, but it wasn't just for that. It was that window. I have a little side window there at the front right by the door. And I've got another like window slash door in the master bedroom where if you guys remember on the last bit, I said that I'd be turning into a opening into the, into the garden. So yeah, that was £4,300. That was number six. And number seven is the kitchen, as you can see, kitchen at the back. Quick, quick, quick one. I don't want to show too much, but kitchen was, um, kitchen was material cost, 2,000 pounds. And then we had the labor cost, which was 2,500 pounds. Um, yeah, 2,500 pounds and 2,200 pounds for the labor and material, which is really good. Um, really good and Kitchen again, B and Q special. B and Q, yeah, little one. I like the way you did that. <laughs> uh, B and Q special, yeah. Twenty percent off, ten percent off. But it's been a bit of a headache. But shout out to the team at B and Q because they've been sort of, they've been really responsive. You know, I guess it's not it's not their fault. Like you know, um, every time something got sent out, something was missing, or you know. But you know, they've been really responsive, which is really good. Um, been really helpful. But yeah, we're on track with that. The last few bits arrived literally just yesterday, so we can fix all of that uh, together. And that was the cost of the kitchen. So, whilst we're here, I think we're on like number eight. Number eight, I believe. Let's get to six to eight, bro. Uh, no, bro. Yeah. Was it six to eight? I think so. No, nah, no, nah, I think that was seven, though. No, no, no it was six to windows, yeah. And it was seven the uh, thing. And now we're on eight. All right, cool. See, I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> eight. Ceilings, quick pan, quick pan. A, that was three thousand pounds for dropping the ceilings. We did that in mostly throughout. Actually, it was like literally mostly throughout. That was three thousand pounds. I can't remember the breakdown, but that was how much it cost. It was three thousand pounds to do everything for that, and so that was number eight. Number nine. Number nine was the doors. Mm -hmm. So the doors actually cost me a total of a thousand pounds. And that was literally, that does sound like a lot because I thought it'd be a lot. I budgeted for like five bills. <laughs> it does sound a lot to me. But yeah, like, you know, carpentry is an expensive trade and they're in higher demand. So when you're going to book your, you know, when you're doing your reefer and you know you need a carpenter, start speaking to my man or whoever it is way months before, before because they're, they're in high demand um so it was i think let's say it averaged around 480 pounds that was for all four doors i believe so that was the the and like the way every material is it's like 
it comes separately, the hinges, the latches, the locks, everything's separate. So when you when you think you're buying a door, I remember when I first looked, I was trying to, you know, suss out, I was doing my budget, and I thought I was buying a door, I thought that door came with the handle, it came with the locks, it came with the screws, but no, it doesn't. You have to buy that all on top. So make sure, look out for that when you're looking for to do stuff. So it was like 120 pounds per door to hang. So that's like, you know, all the carving, whatever they need to do, the shaving down to make sure it's in shape. And especially when you've got an old house like this, there was a lot of shapes and nothing is straight. Nothing's straight in an old house. Uh, you've got a lot of things where, you know, you just, you just they, they complain, innit? I just tell them to get it done. You're the expert. Please just get that sorted. Like, complaining to me is not going to do anything because i got no answers for you i'm not a carpenter but literally it was like 120 uh, pounds to do that we had like four doors to hang and we had like bits and pieces of other like archetypes and the front door as well that they needed to shave off properly again so that came to a thousand pounds in total that is number nine that was number nine in it number nine yeah it was yeah all right so number 10 is the skirting board skirting board skirting board skirting board Actually, flooring. Ooh. Flooring. Flooring first. Yeah, let's do flooring first. Right. Makes sense. Man. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. Flooring was £2,000. So we had laminate flooring across in this area and all the corridors. And we had carpet in the two bedrooms. So the carpet in the two bedrooms, I can't remember the breakdown of the cost of the carpet. But all in all, all the material together cost £1,500. It was 1,000, yeah, it was a total of 1,500 pounds. That was the laminate for into the carpet. Um, I believe the carpet fitting was literally just 100 pounds um, and the laminate flooring was 400 pounds. So that came to a total of 2,000 pounds for the flooring. And again, just so you lot, you know, for those that are trying to use this to like kind of gauge their cost, um, square meterage is 55 square meterage so that's how much you can budget for in terms of you know plus or 10 percent plus or minus 10 percent of that um and we didn't go for like the cheapest bearing in mind we didn't go for the cheapest we went for like a mid-range because of the price price and the p price point we're going for and like our target market so uh that and then we're going to skirting boards again another thousand thousand pounds skirting boards are really expensive something that you know, you would think, isn't that expensive? It's really expensive. Like for me, I, th I feel like I was a bit naive in terms of um, estimating a lot of the labor costs, especially during this time where you think, oh, how hard could that be? Like all you're doing is blah, 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 but they're expensive. Tradesmen are expensive and they, they appreciate, you know, they love their craft and they take it very seriously. So day rates for carpenter literally ranges from like 250 pound a day. And so if this is gonna take you like two days to do it, like literally it ranges from that onwards, onwards. So um, that was a thousand pounds to do all the skirting boards for the pro across the property, which is, which is really good. Again, I think it was something reasonable. Um, can I, do I think I would have changed anything uh, in terms of the scan board? No, not too sure. But, okay, on to the next one. As I said, I'm going to make this quick. Uh, number, I think we're on like 11. 11, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think we're on number 11. I think so, two more. There's two more things. Two more things, yeah. I've done, I've done everything. Guys, bear in mind, I was actually more prepared to play this, but then my phone just, yeah, my phone, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, because my phone literally bailed out on me. I don't know what's happened, but it bailed out on me, but I'm still managing to pull this off for you guys. Uh, so guys, that was the total. I can't tell you the grand total, but hopefully we've got an edit that tells me the grand total somewhere that just pops up, just says the grand total. But but I know it was, let's just say 40,000 pounds, three first bed in London, two beds, 55 square meters, refurb, reconfiguration, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I hope that gave you guys a good view because 
when I was thinking about it as well myself, like one of the most common questions you get is how much do you spend on a refurb? How much do I budget? But it's also, it's always a, it depends. It's never a one size fits all sort of situation. So like, just kind of take this as a guideline so that, you know, when you're like doing your budget, you can be like, okay, cool. Maybe a rewire might cost me like 5K. I can get a, a new kitchen for like 2.5K and I can get a new bathroom materials for like 1.5K. And you kind of can use that as, you know, to gauge. And then, you know, in terms of la uh, labor, ask about, there's net, there's not a key formula on how to, you know, I wouldn't say to how to budget that. Like, there's not a, like a, a special formula because things change every day. Demand changes, price changes. And some people pull numbers out thin air, literally. <laughs> they pull numbers out thin air. And you know, petrol prices are high right now. That's gonna, that's gonna, someone's gonna have to pay for that cost. When you're talking to these contractors, I was saying this to my brethren the other day, like literally, I asked the contractor to come in and he was asking me to pay for his petrol, like literally. So um, yeah, so I hope this was really useful. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for the next one where we're going to do our big reveal hopefully today you've been able to see the quality you've gone for you know they see the quality look 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 <laughs> look at the quality uh, i hope you can see the quality that we've gone through we've gone for some serious quality you know Quaku homes that's what we do right now <laughs> Quaku homes do up Quaku homes you know um so yeah subscribe for the next one um yeah watch out for the big reveal where I'm going to get the staging company to come around. Uh, we'll be able to see, visualize what the space is like so that the buyers can see it. And it's going to go on the market. Then I'm going to be rich. They're going to write a bus down. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> cut this shit. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, we're out here. See ya.